Welcome to SunGen, the thin film silicon photovoltaic module specialist. SunGen is a member of the Anwell Group, who has been specializing in equipment and product manufacturing since 2000. Our group has about 3,000 employees and more than 500 intellectual property rights worldwide. To date, we have sold our equipment and products to more than 60 countries around the world. When you buy a recordable optical disc in the market, it is very likely that this was manufactured by our sister company, Yumidisc. As a vertically integrated company, our group provides complete turnkey solutions to the photovoltaic industry, including equipment, solar modules and systems. Our global presence ensures that we can provide around-the-clock service to our customers. Our modules are manufactured by our factory in Angyang, China, with a fully automatic production system developed by our sister company, Anwa. Silicon thin film was invented in 1975 with the state-of-the-art semiconductor technology. The earliest solar farm with silicon thin film modules has been operating successfully for more than 27 years. Over the past three decades, the technology has improved to give increasingly higher conversion efficiencies and make commercial applications more viable. There are three major types of thin film in the market today. They are cadmium telluride, copper indium gallium selenide, and silicon thin film. Silicon thin film is the only technology from these three that is non-toxic and environmentally friendly. Whilst the thin film technologies represent about 20% of the global photovoltaic market today, we expect market share to grow to over 30% by 2012 due to its cost advantage. Thin film silicon modules consume far less energy in the production process than conventional crystalline silicon modules. Hence, it is truly a green technology. Conventional silicon modules are made of crystalline wafers which are about 180 micrometers thick. For thin film silicon technology, the film thickness varies from 250 nanometers to 1.5 micrometers, which is less than 1% of the thickness of the conventional crystalline silicon technology. The state-of-the-art technology saves not just the material and energy in production, but also gives lower production cost, which makes grid parity possible. Now let's see how a thin film silicon module is made in Sunjen's factory. All SunGen thin film silicon modules are manufactured in class 1000 environment as to avoid contamination on the panels. The base material for thin film silicon modules is glass. Firstly, glass is loaded into the machine for cleaning and edge grinding before going to laser scribe 1 for cutting the isolation lines in the transparent conductive oxide film to form the base of a cell. The glass will then be loaded into the plasma-enhanced chemical vapor deposition chamber, which is the heart of the whole process. We use single-junction amorphous silicon process as it is efficient, mature and stable. The stable power rating of the modules is 100 watts. Our tandem junction product, which is formed by combining the amorphous silicon top cell and a microcrystalline silicon bottom cell, will be available by 2012. Those modules will deliver a capacity from 140 watts to 160 watts. After the PECVD process, the glass will go through laser scribe 2, followed by the back electrode sputtering. The film thickness is precisely controlled by a computer to give the best performance of the modules. After sputtering of the back electrode, the panel now goes to laser scribe 3, to complete cells and laser scribe 4 for isolation lines. Then the edge of the panel will be trimmed by high power laser followed by cleaning and inline inspections. The panel will then enter the back end process where contact wires will be applied before lamination and the mounting of the junction box. The panel will go through further inspection and registered before packaging. 
Now we have the complete module ready for shipment. It is very simple, isn't it? Comparing to the conventional crystalline modules and other thin film technologies, there are several unique advantages for thin film silicon solar panel, which results in more power generation each year. First of all, the thermal coefficient of thin film silicon is less than half of the conventional silicon modules, which delivers better power performance during high temperatures. In addition, the weak light effect of silicon thin film allows it to generate power when the light intensity is low. In other words, it starts working earlier in the morning and stops later in the afternoon. Moreover, a thin film silicon module is less sensitive to shadow, which makes it perfect for building integrated photovoltaics and rooftop installations. Furthermore, the micro texture on the TCO film diffuses the light into the film, which makes thin film silicon less sensitive to mounting angle. Hence, engineers invented the 10 degree mounting system as to maximize the insulation capacity on a limited space. By 2012, SunGen will offer tandem modules that can produce up to 160 watts per module. The amorphous silicon top cell converts the visible lights into electricity, while the bottom cell converts the infrared component of the solar spectrum into electricity. This will maximize the conversion efficiency, leading to higher power module capacity. But how would the thin film technology improve my bottom line as an investor? As the cost of production is lower than conventional silicon modules, thin film makers can afford to sell the panels at lower cost per watt. With the recently developed easy mounting solutions and DC to AC power conversion technology, thin film systems can be offered at lower turnkey price to investors. This enhances the IRR of an investment and leads to faster payback on investment. Sunjin believes silicon thin film systems will be able to reach grid parity in most countries of the world before 2015.
What is transparent conductive oxide corrosion? TCO corrosion is a chemical process where the sodium ion meets a water molecule to form sodium hydroxide. It then reacts with TCO film to form corrosion. To avoid this problem, TCO makers apply a layer of silicon dioxide between the TCO layer and the glass to stop the sodium ion from migrating to the TCO film. Furthermore, lamination technology provides excellent protection to the film, which stops water molecules from penetrating into the surface. As the sodium ion will not meet the water molecules, the chemical route to TCO corrosion is removed. Can thin film use transformer-less inverter? Unless required by local regulations, thin film silicon modules can use transformer-less inverters in most cases in the same way as a conventional crystalline silicon module. This is because thin film silicon modules are electrically similar to conventional crystalline silicon modules in principle. However, in the case where thousands of modules in an array are connected in series and parallel to an inverter, the capacitance may be too high to trigger a ground fault. In such cases, both conventional crystalline modules and thin film modules will require an isolation transformer to avoid ground fault. Why don't Sungen and major manufacturers produce amorphous silicon double junction products? The reason why major manufacturers do not produce amorphous silicon double junction is that the band gap of the second junction is the same as the first amorphous silicon layer in amorphous silicon double junction modules. Therefore, if the film quality is good enough, it works on the same spectrum range of sunlight, which has been effectively absorbed by the first layer. Hence, the production of additional photoelectrons is minimal and insufficient to justify an additional layer. Double amorphous silicon junction product shows no advantage over single junction product in conversion efficiency and makes the device more structurally complicated. Engineers developed the double amorphous germanium alloys module in the 1990s to make better use of sunlight. With this technology, the second silicon layer is doped with germanium to change the band gap. However, this technology is not popular due to cost and the health hazard from inhaling germanium gas residue in the production process. Also, modules doped with germanium show higher degradation and potentially experience a shorter product lifetime. The best way to use the full spectrum of sunlight is to produce tandem junction products. Under this method, the second microcrystalline silicon junction exhibits a different band gap to the first amorphous silicon junction. As the microcrystalline silicon junction works on the longer wavelength range of sunlight, it will penetrate the first amorphous silicon layer and produce meaningful photoelectrons in the microcrystalline junction. Hence, it is justified to make tandem junction. This is the major trend in the world of thin film.